This video is a roundabouts video for use after you're familiar with basic roundabouts. We're using a typical but real life three lane spiral roundabout which connects the A19 dual carriageway to the A183 Chester Road dual carriageway. Other videos will talk about MSPSL and roundabouts, specific considerations for different types of roundabouts and turning in different directions. This video is focused on the spiral aspect of many large roundabouts. The video covers mainly lanes, but also a little about signals. Note that this roundabout is controlled by traffic lights, and therefore we don't normally have to worry about priorities. So why is it called spiral? The best example of using the spiral aspect of a large roundabout is turning right. So in this case, we'll follow a car travelling east to west, turning right, third exit, from the A183 onto the A19 northbound. On approach to the roundabout, you'll need to decide which is the correct lane. The car is well back from the roundabout, and we've already read the sign before we reach this point. Read the sign as soon as you can. Let's have a look at the sign. The sign is white because we're on the A183, which is classed as a local road. Imagine yourself driving the roads in the sign. You'll always enter this type of sign at the bottom. Hence, if you turn left at the roundabout, taking the first exit, you'll head for Teesside. Notice the stubby little road after Teesside. That's to show you the road is there, but it's not available to you as it's an entrance to the roundabout, not an exit. Unless you fancy illegally and very dangerously driving the wrong way on the A19, head on into fast traffic. Driving instructors and driving examiners will often say things like, at the roundabout, turn right. It's the third exit. Follow signs for time tunnel. The second exit, or the road ahead, is for Chesley Street. We're on the A183, so we go a road ahead at the roundabout if we want to stay on the A183 for Chesterley Street. So we want the third exit for Tyne Tunnel. Notice that the road number, A19, is in yellow on a green background, telling you that the A19 is a trunk road. Trunk roads usually connect towns and cities and are usually designed for long distance travel. To complete the sign, notice that after Tyne Tunnel there's another stubby entrance to the roundabout, then a gap. The gap is there to tell you to turn left at the roundabout, not right, which would be very dangerous. It's perfectly okay to use a roundabout to go back the way you came. In this case, your instructor would say, at the roundabout, turn right, it's the fourth exit. Then usually clarify that we're using the roundabout to go back where we came from, just because that's not normal practice when driving. OK, so the sign didn't tell us which lane to use for our right turn, third exit, Tyne Tunnel. Normally when turning right at a roundabout, we would approach in the right lane, but wait. We now look at the paint on the road. You should be well back from the car in front for safety, but it also helps you to see the text on the road. There are four paint markings just ahead of us. A19 brackets S means A19 South, and it's the first exit. Use the left lane for the first exit. That's logical. It then says A183 and CHES in brackets. That's the second exit, road ahead, for Chesterley Street. Use the left lane for the second exit. Aha! It also says A19 North in the left lane. Use the left lane for A19 Tyne Tunnel. This is slightly unusual. If you've anticipated needing the right lane, as you might if this is your first time on the roundabout and the roads are busy, that's fine. It says A19 brackets N in the right lane too. Just be aware that in the right lane, the vehicle on your left may be taking the same exit as you. Watch the two cars here. Notice that the paint on the road lists the exit in order for each lane, from top to bottom. So we've chosen to stay in the left lane. We'll check mirrors and signal right before our position inevitably alters. Next, the lane split into three. The left lane splits into the left and middle, and the right lane remains the right. Notice now that the left lane is only for exits 1 and 2, and the middle lane is for exit 2 and 3. And the right lane is again for exit 3. We need to follow into the middle lane. Traffic in the right of the two lanes a few seconds ago, like the light blue car, should use the right lane here. But beware traffic in the right lane heading straight for the middle one. This happens often at this roundabout. Hang back a little from anybody in the right lane and give them space to get it wrong safely. Can you work out which lane you'd use to come back to the A183 towards Sunderland? What could happen if you did this from the middle lane? Answer in the video comments if you like. 
Notice the arrows painted on the road suggest your options as you cross them. Only the left lane should be used to take the first exit, left, and all three lanes can proceed onto the roundabout. Next we have traffic lights. They're on red so we stop just before the stop line on the road. Notice the dotted lines guiding the left lane into the left of the roundabout, as with the middle and right lanes to the middle and right. Your lights will only go green when the lights for vehicles on the roundabout are red. How long were you driving before you first saw someone run a red light? At the green light, proceed with caution, with a look to the right. We follow the dotted lines into the middle lane. Don't expect all roundabouts to guide you like this. If there are three lanes approaching and three lanes on the roundabout, it should be logical at this point without the dotted lines. There's more text on the lanes as we enter the roundabout, just after the first exit. Now the left lane is A183 only, and the middle lane can be used for A183, and the middle and right lanes can be used for the A19 North. All logical following on from the previous markings. As a regular user of this roundabout, my normal practice is to turn right using the middle lane, and to take a look down onto the A19 northbound. As it's prone to traffic jams and accidents, I could usually change my mind and leave in the right lane of the A183 towards Chesterley Street if the A19 was jammed. As we approach the next traffic lights, we've just crossed more paint on the road. The text on the road repeats the text we've just seen and adds some arrows to say that left and middle lanes can take the next exit, that is ahead to A183, and the middle and right lanes can carry on round the roundabout towards exit 3 for A19 North. As our lights go green, we follow the dotted lines. These lines sort of push lane 1 into the left lane on the exit, the middle lane moves over and has the option to take the right lane on the exit into the A183, or carry on to the right, but now in the left lane, ready to exit. The right lane is pushed into the middle lane, ready to exit in the right lane of the slip road. This is where the term spiral comes into roundabouts. We enter the roundabout in the correct lane for our exit and spiral out towards the left lane ready to exit. There are many examples of more complicated spiral roundabouts in the UK and not all have the dots or lines to guide you. Take a look at the M25 stroke A1M junction on Google Maps. Search for South Mims. Now we're in the left lane and the car that came with us is in the middle lane. Just after passing the A183 exit, we switch our right signal to a left, as we're about to leave the roundabout. Imagine what happens if someone in the left lane on the roundabout ignores the exit and follows round into lane 1 on the roundabout. There are drivers who think this is how it should be done. You'll need to look for them in the mirrors. Give them space. What would you expect a cyclist or horse rider to do at this point? Notice the text on the road says A19 North only, the middle lane says A19 North and A183 Sunderland, and the right lane also says A183 Sunderland. Beware, many drivers who followed the path of the light blue car in this video will stay in the right lane but still intend to use the A19 North. This was especially true before the dots were painted, but is still true today and not just on this roundabout. They stop at the traffic lights in the right lane, traffic joins them in the left and middle lanes, then we have three lanes of traffic trying to squeeze into two lanes on the exit. Give these people some space. When we have a green light, we're already in the left lane, already signalling left, so we follow the dots to the left lane on the slip road to the A19. The car that started on our right is still on our right, showing you the alternative route around the roundabout. There's a companion video to this one called Spiral Roundabouts Companion Video showing how all the lanes from the roundabout entrance we used here can be used. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. More videos soon.